hear me. Uh, we're at a rest area just south of Dayton, Ohio, almost to Cincinnati. You can see how loud it would be to try to sleep here. Some of them are doing it, but I don't know how. There's the motorhome mixed in there with the big trucks. I didn't sleep here. Here comes a truck. Probably gonna pull in next to me. I'm one of the only empty spots. Oh, here's a couple more down here. It says that this is part of the Eisenhower Interstate System. Back in the days of the Interstate Building Bonanza. There's a big truck. Oh, don't hit my motorhome. Looks kind of small there. It feels big when you're driving it compared to a car. So, we're heading down into Kentucky here shortly. Heading towards Flaming, Flemingburg, Kentucky. Should be fun. And we'll see what the boss is doing. Yeah, she's rustling up an orange for me. And yeah, we'll talk to you later. Okay, so here's the coachman, all set up for the night in Kentucky. Interesting. I like pan around here. Oh, that's pretty over there. Fleming. Flemingburg Recreation This is some recreation area This is the uh, Campground He said you can take the gravel road down to the lake or the trail I'll take the gravel road or the trail. There's the lake. I think let's take this way <clears throat> Not so much as a campground as a scary Temporary. Oh, this is the holding tank. Disposal instructions. Doesn't look like it goes far. Right there, and there's kind of a hose up there. Eh? How would I get down here? I'd have to back. Well, if you ever wondered where it goes when you put it in the holding tank, <laughs> that would be it right there. That fenced in area, apparently. Parking for fishermen only. No trailer storage. That seems to be what, by the degree of moss on the units. Some of these, uh, in the condition of the tires, they haven't moved in a long, long time. Oh, this is pretty though. Look at the lake. In fact, I may be one of the only units with air in its tires. <laughs> Advertised as between 10 and $15 a night. <clears throat> but I got here and it was, at the end of the day, I'm kind of tired and it's $20 for the night. This is in the inexpensive and free campground directory from Amazon.com, which I'm Gonna have to go in and write a review on. There's been a number of glaring errors. This place is pretty much hadn't seen any upkeep for some time. This looks like a raccoon either trap or bait. I don't know what what would you call that? It's got on like a tipping you know, you've often heard of somebody reaches the tipping point. I think that's what that's all about. You put it in there and then you just tip it over if you're a raccoon. This is no wake lake. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to say that too fast, but no wake lake, no swimming allowed. Yeah. 
I, I don't want to go swimming there anyway. It looks a little iffy. All right, I'll take a little bit of a trail, but. I don't know. I don't think I'm even gonna film anymore. Okay, so now we're in the back part of the I don't know, this is the Fox River Recreation Area. It's keyed in the book as uh, being in Flemingsburg, Kentucky, but it's quite a ways south, at least, I don't know, six to 10 miles south, winding road thing. And it's really, I, I would say, shut down. You can still camp here. Um, and most of the units look like year-round units. This is the primitive camping area, but there's nobody here. I see some fire pits on the ground where people have been, maybe during the summer. Got lured off the interstate out, out here. Uh, not highly recommended, but I think we'll be safe here uh, as far as sleeping in the, in the rig, but uh, this isn't a vacation destination. There's a bit of a lake over there, but it's it's murky and you can't see through the water. So the lake is of unknown origins and maybe at one time natural origins, but it doesn't look too good. And the trailers are really kind of funny. The travel trailers have got moss growing on them with flat tires and uh, somebody, you know, like in a position of authority should check and see if people died in there years ago or if anybody cares or maybe this is deemed as their final resting <laughs> area uh, they were they loved camping and this is the way they wanted to go I just left in their camper at this campground so there we go if you don't have anything good to say just say it anyway and then regret it later We've cased the whole campground. There seems to be only one person actually here. And I think all the rest are weekenders. Or anyway, anyway look at it. A lot of these places haven't been moved in a long time. Yeah. Oh, she's hollering. Something's wrong in the restroom. Put the nicks to the shower. Uh, some I pulled the shower curtain back and one of them <laughs> fell on the floor and started running away. Yeah, anything that falls on the floor and runs shouldn't be in the shower stall, so it's okay if I'm filming right now. <laughs> so, as hard as it is to do showers in the coachman, that's where we're going to be tonight. This isn't our best camping like experience. Tarantulas. <laughs> Just a minute, I, I don't know. I think it's open. Try it. They, that, was, that was pretty big. I told you. Well, I guess I didn't... Uh, you didn't believe. I believed you, <laughs> you but... How big they were, right? And that's what I said. I didn't want to take my clothes off because I was afraid that they would crawl in my clothes. It was huge things. Yeah, you don't want to wake up to one of those. Okay. Filming from inside the motorhome. Uh, we come up with a theory overnight. The reason there's nobody here, even though it looks like they were here minutes ago, what with the moss and mold growing on everything and um, and no human activity, the only thing I think keeping the zombies at bay is that glowing light over there. It changes colors and not sure that all that keeps the zombies in whatever trailers they're in, but we took a walk last night. Pretty scary. There's no humans here. We met one guy in a hoodie, and he said he doesn't live here. He was just passing through. So no one's going to believe this, but there, there's nobody in this. The guy that took the 20 bucks from me is the only human I've seen. Uh... More on this later. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the curtain up facing the south direction. Uh, I've got some fog. Screen here just a second. Okay, there's no humans visible there. I know at this distance you can't see the mold growing up the side of the trailer on the left behind that tree. Yeah, maybe you can. I'll try to zoom in uh, in post-production, but these things haven't moved in a long time. Somebody mowed the grass, but it couldn't have been during daytime. We heard trucks moving last night. Uh, there's no humans here. Or they just don't leave their, leave their trailers. More on this later.